Thank you for coming to see us, miss. Please, take a seat. I, uh, expect you must be tired. Yes, I am. Well, we'll try not to keep you too long. I wonder if you recognise any of these people. I don't. Would you mind looking a little more closely, miss? I don't know any of them. What's all this about? All I can say is it's rather important. Just give it another go. This is daft. I've, I've just got through my shift. I'm tired, I'm hungry, my feet ache and I just... You want to go home. <laughs> Funnily enough, so do I. And the sooner you take another look through these photographs, the sooner we'll both be on our way. I really don't know any of these people. I've never been to this place. Is it a theatre or a pub? It's a bar. Oh, I've never been there. I'm sorry. The woman leaning against the wall, on the right. You don't recognise her? I've told you, no. Are you absolutely sure, Miss? Yes, I'm sure. Take your time. What is this about? You've never met her. You obviously think I have. Concentrate on the features. Well, the smile looks... familiar. Hmm. Where from? I mean... But there is a faint resemblance to a, a friend of mine. Who? Kathleen James. I was at school with her. Are you still in touch with her? <laughs> I see her every day. War work. We're both on Waterloo Bridge. That's a coincidence. But this isn't Kathleen. I mean, the hair's all wrong for a start. Fashion's changed, I'm you know that. I'm telling you, it isn't Kathleen. All right, miss. What about the man standing next to her? Does he remind you of anyone? No. Try to imagine him without the moustache. I have never seen that man in my life. Please, can I go home now? Not just yet, miss. There's no need to get yourself worked up. It's not good for you in your present condition. I am not worked up. Quite so, miss. It is miss, isn't it? Yes. Is your boyfriend in the forces? I thought you wanted to ask me about these photographs, Inspector. I do, amongst other things. Is he in the army, the navy? Neither. So he's not away? If you say so. He's a civilian, then. But he must be doing something for the war effort. Must he? You're very secretive about your young man. Most girls would be proud. Why are you so interested in me? I'm interested in everyone, miss. I've done nothing wrong. Who said you had? But why won't you tell me about your boyfriend? Because it's personal. Are you protecting him? No. Then why won't you tell me about him? It's none of your business. Oh, that's where you're wrong. You see, everything's my business. Why can't you talk about him? I don't want to. Won't or can't? What are you afraid of? I'm not afraid. Are you frightened of him? No. Has he threatened you? No, he has not. If he has, we can protect you. You've got it all wrong. What? It's not... What? What is it then? It's nothing like that. What's it like? It's... It's personal. You're allowed a private life, even in wartime, aren't you? Yeah. Don't upset yourself. Take my hanky. Here. I think that's enough questions for one evening. I'll, I'll show you out. Thank you. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm very tired. Good morning, ladies. And let's have a bit of hush, please. Quiet down now. That's it. Thank you. Now, we need three working parties this morning. One for each remaining curve of the bridge. Two cementing parties, one clearing away. Now, I understand some of you have got complaints about the lifting. Yeah, well, you know that you should bring any complaint directly to me. You also know that no one should be undertaking heavy lifting. Not under any circumstances. All right? But thank you, ladies. <laughs> you nipped off sharpish last night. Who wants to hang around here? You had a date, didn't you? I might have done. Mystery lover boy again. <laughs> might have been. Where'd you go? Oh, mind your own business, Kathleen. <laughs> I've never known you so cagey. <laughs> I've never known you so nosy. You've always shown off about your conquests. I have not. Yes, you have. You're thinking about when we were at school. And since we left. Well, as I didn't see you for about five years, I don't know how you worked that one out. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. <laughs> <laughs> 
About this fella? Is there something you're not telling me? No. What have I got to hide? <laughs> <laughs> now then, ladies. A little less chat and a little more work, huh? Yes, yes Mr. Mr Jackson. Jackson. We want our bridge finished as soon as, don't we? Yes, yes Mr. Mr Jackson. Jackson. That's the ticket. We don't want to let the side down. Oh, we'd never do that, Mr Jackson. No, uh, well, of course you wouldn't. Um, yeah, well, I'll leave you to get on, then. Come and see us again soon. Yes, uh, thank you. To work. Quiet. <laughs> you might hear you. God, I wish he'd fall in the river. Perhaps he can't swim. We'd offer to jump in and save him. But as we can't swim... There'd be no point. So we'd wave to him. And shout, cheerio! As he swept out to sea. He always wanted to be in the Navy. <laughs> You were born in Lewisham, weren't you, miss? Yes. January 1916? Yes. Could you tell me your mother's maiden name? Joseph. Thank you. And your father? Any siblings on his side? Two sisters and two brothers. Do you see them often? Well, the men are all dead and my aunts live in Deal. It isn't easy to get down to the coast. Besides, I'm generally all in by the end of the week. You work? On Waterloo Bridge. Oh, that's a hard job for a man, let alone a young woman. Oh, I enjoy it. They only give us what we can manage. (laughs) Quite so. So, do you visit your aunts? Only occasionally. Inspector, would you mind if we did this some other time? I'm very tired. I'd like to get home before the blackout. Of course, miss. It was thoughtless of me not to realise. Thank you for coming to see us. Have a safe journey home. Thanks. Oh, um... Did you say that you and Elsie went to the same school? I didn't say, but yes, we did. Church Cross. From age 11 to 15? Yeah, right through in the same class. And you've always kept in touch? Yes. You remained close after you left school? Yeah. Why do you want to know about Elsie? That's confidential, miss. Does she talk to you about her love life? You what? Well, she must talk to you about her boyfriends and such like. It's boyfriend. She's expecting a baby, you know. Oh, these days anything goes, miss. Do you know whose baby it is? Of course I do. What's his name? Why on earth do you want to know? Just following an inquiry, his name. I think that's up to Elsie to tell you. I'd rather not trouble her at present. It'd save a lot of time and bother if you told us. It's not my business. Don't be coy, miss. We're both adults. I assure you, anything you tell me will be confidential. Have you spoken to Elsie? His name. You don't know it, do you? Now, wouldn't it be simpler if you'd said that you didn't know, eh? And why is Elsie, your close friend, not telling you? Can you explain that? You should be talking to Elsie. Well, thank you for that advice. That'll be all for now, miss. Good night. Good night, Inspector. Here you are. Oh, thanks. I need this. I don't understand why you keep working. But I want to. You don't have to, do you? Your back's getting worse. I don't know why you won't rest up. Believe it or not, I'd miss the company. Besides, what would I do sit at home all day? Oh, I don't know. Knitting? I can't knit. And what's the baby going to wear? Clothes. Same as any other baby. And who's going to pay for them? I am. From this job, that won't get you much. We won't need much. Who is the father? None of your business. Charming. I'm your pal. God knows you ain't got any others. Oh, thanks very much. You need to confide in someone. Who is he? Look... I know you're only concerned for me, but there's no need. I can look after myself and the baby. Not on your own. When the time comes, you'll need some help. Give me his name. I'll try and help you find him. You know Jean? Her brother works in a forces records office. I can easily ask him to try and trace your bloke. Trace him? Yeah. Tell him about the baby. He knows. What? Then why isn't he helping you? Why don't you mind your own damn business? What is it to you, anyway? Let's be having your ladies. The tea break ended five minutes ago. But we've only just sat down. But I can't help that. If we all ambled about just as we fancied, nothing would get done, would it? Can't we have one more minute? No, you cannot. Oh, Mr Jackson, look at Elsie. She deserves a bit of TLC. Yeah, well, maybe she does, but not you. Oh, go on. I'm her little helper. What if everyone demanded special treatment, eh? 
I haven't noticed any of the other girls in Elsie's condition, unless you know something we don't. Of course not. Well, will you carry on? But don't you go making a habit out of it. Thank, Thank you, you, Mr Jackson. Mr. Jackson. One minute, mind. Twit. <laughs> I'm sorry I upset you before. That's the last thing I'd want to do. I know. And I'm sorry too. So who is the father? Ooh, Clark Gable. <laughs> <laughs> Fancy seeing you here, Kathleen. I could say the same about you. What are you doing in London? Oh, you know. The war drags you all over the shop. How was the police inspector last night? Are you following me? Don't flatter yourself. What did he want? What's it to you? Don't play games with me, you'll get hurt. I think you're the one who'll get hurt. This is my stop. Come on, we can talk inside. Drink? Your usual poison? Thank you. Oh, nice place you've got. Very luxurious. I have everything I need. Mm, does that include a woman's earring? Give that to me. It's none of your damn business. Did I tread on a corn? What was the inspector talking to you about? Does Peter know you're here? Or would you like me to tell him? Lass das mal die großen machen, Kathleen. Was will diese Inspektor? Da muss ich keinen Gefallen tun. Jetzt sag's mir endlich. Bist du der Kurier? Are you the carrier? Christ, do you want to get us both killed? Keep your voice down, you fool. Are you having sex with Elsie? <laughs> You're jealous. I think we're beyond that. Answer me. Don't be ridiculous. She may be useful, I don't know. Now tell me about the inspector. Nothing to tell. In that case, I'll show you out. <laughs> you always add such a way with words. I'll be seeing you. I was assigned to the bridge five months ago. As foreman, sir? Yes, that's right. That's your regular occupation? I've worked on sites for the past ten years or so. I make sure the work gets done, you see. Yes. You've got an unusual workforce to keep in check at present? Well, I suppose so. What of it? Well, do they present any particular problems? Well, apart from chin-wagging non-stop, not really. It's the chin-wagging I'm interested in. Careless talk, eh, Inspector? Something like that. Why do you want to meet me in a pub and not at the station? I like to meet my sources on their home ground. So I'm a source, am I? Yeah. Do the ladies talk while they work? No, the work's hard. Physically, it's difficult to talk. They save it for the tea break. Where are you during the tea breaks? Well, no fixed place. Do Kathleen James and Elsie Howarth work in your section? Yes. Are they good workers? Well, they're all right. Perhaps you might take a bit more notice of them. Do I have to? Is there a problem, sir? Yeah. Well, I think one of them's soft on me. That's awkward? Uh, no, no, it, uh, it doesn't matter. It sounds like it does. Well, it doesn't. Are you involved with one of these women? Of course not. But you want to be? No. You're lying. No. <sighs> yes. But it's not the lippy one, it's her friend, I fancy. Well, this will make your observation more stimulating for you. Oh, I'm sick of the buses being off. Don't your feet hurt? Yeah. But I'm glad to get some air. You won't be if we get a raid. Oh, give it a rest, Kathleen. How often do you get to walk along the Thames at twilight, eh? Well, if I had a dishy bloke in tow, I'd only be too happy. Oh, while I think of it, I bought this back for you. What is it? Cod, fresh from the coast. I bought it this morning on my way back from Auntie Jean's. Oh, thanks, Kathleen. I haven't had fish since I can remember. Thank you very much. My pleasure. You care about those aunts of yours, don't you? Mm, they're all I've got. How often do you see them? Once a week, sometimes more. Didn't you live with them for a while? Yeah, after we left school. Uh, when we lost touch. You've never talked about that time. Yeah, what's there to say? I was miserable, stuck in a rotten marriage with no escape. Must have been dreadful when he was killed. That was nothing heroic. A car accident went into a wall. When they told me, I didn't cry, I just felt numb. Later, I felt guilty because I wasn't sorry that he'd died. 
If anything, I was angry. It'd been such a waste of time, mine and his. How awful. Now you get over it. The whole thing was a mistake and a story. There's nothing more to say about it. Me aunts took me in. You're lucky you've got them. Oh, I know I am. I like it down there. The air's different to London. I go for walks by the sea and forget about the war. Oh, sounds good. You could come with me if you fancied it. No, I don't think so. Maybe after the baby's born. Oh, my aunties would love a baby in the house. <sighs> Do you think they'd like one for keeps? Elsie. Oh, I'm only kidding you. I wouldn't give up this baby for anything. You never thought of getting rid of it? I thought about it. But, well, couldn't do that to the father. Let's have a look at the river. Oh, I love watching the river at night. Romantic, isn't it? Oh, gives me the shivers. All black and cold. Do you come here with him? Who? Oh. Don't play games with me, Elsie. You know what I mean. Sorry. This isn't easy for me, you know. I'm trying to help you and I get it thrown back at me. Maybe we should stop. Stop what? Pretending, being friends. Well, that's going a bit far. No, you? you don't want my help. You keep banging on about helping me. When did I once ask you for help? You shouldn't have to ask. We've been friends for years, the closest. And now this baby's coming and you're shutting me out. That's a bit dramatic, Kathleen. It's the truth. You are. Oh. Kathleen, you're not crying. I can't keep on pretending everything's normal. This bloody secret. It's exhausting. Oh, now, come on. It's a baby. It's not going to change the world. There have been a few before, you know. It isn't the baby. What is it? Oh, every rotten thing. If it's the father's name, why do you care so much? You should. I do. And I'm the only one who needs to. Oh, I didn't think this was going to happen. Oh, I'd cry. I'm so sorry, Elsie. I'm sorry, Cho. No, you don't understand. I'm sorry for everything. I never meant to hurt you. I don't know what you're on about. <laughs> I'm meant to be looking after you. <laughs> We look after each other, like we always have. Mm. And when the baby's born, you can look after it too. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Don't you think I've wanted to talk to you? I've been bursting to tell you all about him, but I can't. And the worst of it is that I love him so much. And you can't even meet him or, or know anything about him, but you'd like him, Kathleen. I know you would. He's kind and charming and funny. Oh, he's just so alive. Oh, I feel safe and excited all at once. Well, he's a great lover, Kathleen. Spare me the oh, details. There's nothing wrong in saying it. And he loves me. And I think he always will. Everything about him is right. I've never felt like this. And that's why the baby seems so, well, like it's the right thing to do, even though it shouldn't be. It'll be a part of him that I'll always have, whatever else happens. I never heard you talk like that. I'm very happy for you, Elsie. Really, I am. You look so radiant, happy. I am pleased and relieved. Relieved? Yeah. It's all clearer now. But why can't I meet him? Well, what's the problem? Don't tell me he's married. He's foreign. <laughs> A Nazi spy? No. I love him, and that's all that matters. Good evening, ladies. Oh, you're fighting the life out of us. Oh, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to startle you. A bit chilly for a stroll, isn't it? Well, clearly not for you. Anyway, the buses are off. Well, have a safe journey home. Good night. Good night. Good night. What is it, Kathleen? You're, you're shaking. What's the matter? Nothing. I'm just a bit cold, that's all. Who was that bloke? Oh, he was at the bridge the other day, asking questions. What questions? I don't know. I didn't speak to him. I'm surprised I even recognised him. Do you think he was following you? Why would he be following me? He appeared out of nowhere. Do you think he owed us? What if he did? We've got nothing to hide. You acted like you knew him. I don't. All I know is that he's a policeman. Well, if you didn't speak to him, how'd you know? One of the girls told me. What is all this? You're as pale as anything. Do you know him? 
Are you in trouble, Kathleen? Of course not. I'm tired, that's all. Must have been the crying fit. It's done me in. Oh, come on. Let's get you home. Why is it you always end up looking after me? you got a lucky face. <laughs> <laughs> we meet at the bridge. You are certain she said we? Absolutely positive. And she definitely wasn't referring to her and Kathleen. Well, it wouldn't make sense. She was telling Kathleen. No, she was speaking about some fella. Your rival? Very funny, Inspector. You sure she didn't refer to a specific time? I've told you twice already. No. Calm down, sir. The way she said it, it sounded like a regular thing. You know, we meet there as in that's the place where we always meet. Not a one-off arrangement. All right, Mr Jackson. But we need a time and date. And you need me to tell you it. I'll find out what I can. Good. This is good. You're doing an excellent job, Mr Jackson. I'm most grateful. Carry on, and we'll clear all this business up in no time. Right. <clears throat> if you don't mind me asking, why all the interest in her love life? I'm afraid that's confidential, sir. We're rather busy, sir. My sergeant will show you out. Yeah, look, I've given up valuable time then to come here. Then stop up. wasting it. Perhaps I've got better things to do than listen to other people's conversations. Don't imagine you're indispensable. I don't, but I think I'm entitled to something for my time. <laughs> No, Mr Jackson, we don't pay. Then just tell me what this is all about. I can't tell you. Let's have some give and take. If you're not talking, why should I? Because, as a patriot, it is your duty. And if you don't, I'll have you arrested. Don't you threaten me. A promise, I... not a threat, I assure you. If you think there's a market for information, as you like to call it, you're wrong. Nobody's buying and nobody's interested except me. I can compel you to give it. There's more at stake here than your romantic ambition or earning a few bob on the side. I don't have much choice. None. There is a war on. Excuse me. Sorry. So sorry. I thought I'd be lynched. <laughs> <laughs> I missed you, my angel. Not half as much as I've missed you. I haven't been able to think of anything except seeing you this evening. Some date this has turned out to be. Hardly my fault, darling. I hope you haven't been working too hard on that silly bridge of yours. It isn't silly. I'm quite proud of our bridge. All the work that's gone into it. How much more is there to do? Only one in a bit curves, and she'll be pretty as a picture. <laughs> <laughs> Funny thing. So I don't suppose you've had any time to miss me? Mm, perhaps a little. Where have you been? I've been round to the flat a few times. Miss Teal said you'd gone away. I had a works inspection on the coast. Very boring. Very lonely. Mm. Just think. In a short while we can be together whenever we like. All day. All night. Go wherever we please. You'll soon get fed up with me and the baby. Don't ever say that, please. Oh, come on. I was teasing you. I will never let you go. You're everything to me, Elsie. You know that. I love you. <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah. Fine. They're close, aren't they? Yes. Come on, you should try to rest. Lie in my arms. Dream of our future. Good night, my darling. <laughs> I looked for you in the shelter last night. I went to the uh, pictures. Oh, sorry, did you? It's a bit late to go out, wasn't it? Oh, I just fancied it. I couldn't face another evening in with the wireless. What do you see? Uh, the warning went off just as I got there. I went down the tube. Oh, no wonder you're looking rough. <laughs> you know how to make a girl feel good. <laughs> you haven't mentioned lover boy for a while. No. Has he done a runner? No, he has not. He's been working away for a few days. Oh, what work would that be, then? Drop it, Kathleen. What does he do, your fella? Give it a rest. Why is it such a secret? Are you ashamed of him? No. Is he German? 
Why are you doing this, Catherine? What? I'm just asking. I mean, you can't be too careful these days. How much do you really know about him? Enough. What's his middle name? Where was he born? Please, will you stop this? You don't know, do you? What's his favourite colour? Someone has got to tell you how stupid you're being. You know nothing about this man. He'll probably do a run in the minute the baby's born. How dare you talk about him like that? You don't know him. Well, that makes two of us, doesn't it? Have you met his family? Looking forward to the new addition, are they? Or is he too ashamed to introduce you? Your fantastic lover. <sighs> Leave me alone, Kathleen. Does he exist or have you made him up? Please, stop it. You went to bed with him probably only once. He's knocked you up and you've invented this little dreamland of happy families. You're just jealous, the way you're carrying on. I'm jealous of you? I don't think so. Then leave me alone, you oh, Shut up, you stupid cow. And you can stop your crocodile tears. Hey, hey, now calm down, calm down, ladies. What is all this? Just shut it. Kathleen, be quiet. You can't tell me what to do. Oh, I've had it with a lot of you. Come back here. Do it, come back. Please, don't call it back. Come on, Elsie. Come and sit over here. You're shivering. Here, look. Take my coat. No, I couldn't. Don't be soft. Take it. Now, what was all that about, eh? I don't know. Were you rowing over your fella? No. Why is everyone so concerned with my love life? I must own up to a particular interest. You are? Well, I am interested. Why? I'm always here, available, if you wanted or needed uh, a shoulder to cry on. Oh, that's very kind. Well, i better be getting back to work now. Oh, good. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> well... Any time, Elsie. Yeah. Hello, Carter Street Station. May I ask your name, sir? Very well, I'll get the inspector. Sir. Hello. Thank you, Mr. Jackson. I can't tell you how sorry I am. Oh, just forget about it. Maybe I am jealous. Kathleen, stop it. I've been thinking about what you said the other night, about me pushing you away, and you were right. When you get back, we'll have a good talk, clear the air. We've been friends too long to fall out. Thanks, Elsie. I'm so sorry. Give it a rest. Anyway, you've got more important things to worry about now. You're right. You really didn't have to come with me. I know I didn't have to. I wanted to see you off. Facing this sort of journey. I'm going to miss the six o'clock. I've never seen so many people. You'll catch it. Which platform is it? I don't know. Oh, God. Calm down. I've never known you so jumpy. Look, the coast train. Still there. Is this the deal train? Yes, hurry or you miss it. Bye, Elsie. Oh, thanks so much for seeing me off. Take care. Send my best to your Auntie Jean. She may be better than you think. You couldn't have left any quicker. Take care. Cheerio. Thinking of going on a journey, Elsie? Oh, you frighten me. Why should I frighten you? Because hmm? you're always creeping up on me. Like the other night by the river. Hardly creeping, Elsie. Not in amongst this noise. You want me to know that you're following me, don't you? Does it give you a cheap thrill, Inspector? Who are you protecting? I don't know what you're talking about. You do, and I will find out. Why are you here? I've just seen off my friend who is visiting her dying aunt. Satisfied? Kathleen. Kathleen. Have you met her aunt? No. Isn't that odd? Given how close you're meant to be? Not really. Is she on the deal train? Yes. Thank you. By the way, we know all about your boyfriend now. I don't have to listen to this. Have a think about that photograph I showed you. Good night. Drop dead. Tickets, Excuse please. Me. Tickets, please. Excuse me, can I just get past? Would you like a seat, miss? Uh, no, thank you. I'm getting off for the next stop. Tickets, please. Excuse me, can I just get through? Yeah. Thank you. 
You stop pulling the blackout off, young lad. You want Hitler to see you? This is London Bridge. A light here for London Bridge Station. Tickets, please. Have all tickets ready. Thank you. This ticket's for the coast, miss. Well, that's all right. It's a bit of a waste, miss. It's fine, thank you. Hello? Hello? Whitehall 375, please. Thank you. Hello? I know I'm taking a risk. This is an emergency. Listen. The bridge is being rebuilt. By the 4th of next month, it will be complete. There are anxieties over the load distribution. We are monitoring the situation. Yours, G. Well, that's all. Now, he says he doesn't know the code. I'll meet you on the bridge. At dawn? Yes. Did you go to the Strand? Yes, miss. Hold tight. Were you born in Holland, sir? Yes. Would you care to elaborate on that? Not especially. Just tell me where you were born, your full name and what you're doing here. Amsterdam, Gerhard Schweyer. I'm a civil engineer working on the rebuilding plan for Waterloo Bridge. Now, that wasn't too difficult, was it, Mr Schweyer? No, Inspector. But you didn't bring me to your police station to ask me...
that, what would you really like to know? Well, let's see. Where did you study engineering? At the technical school in Amsterdam and then in Berlin. Your employment record is very neat. Thank you. Too neat. The bridge. What exactly do you do? I calculate the load distribution and I check the rebuild curves have the correct span. Any the wiser, Inspector? Why was it necessary to bring you over from Holland? You'll have to ask my boss. You could telephone him on Whitehall. I'd like to know why you think you're necessary. Surely a British engineer could do the job just Better than a funny foreigner, Inspector, perhaps. But maybe they're all busy fighting the Germans. Why aren't you fighting the Germans? Someone has to build bridges. Whose side are you on? I should have thought that was obvious. <laughs> Not to me, it isn't. Forgive me, Inspector, but aren't you being rather dim? Enlighten me, sir. I am visibly working for the British. Do you think I'm a spy, Inspector? Are you? <laughs> you do. So, am I sabotaging the bridge, building it crooked or unstable, or even planning to blow it up? I don't find that scenario amusing, sir. Are you single? Do you mean me or my alias? Just answer the question. Actually, it's quite a tricky question to answer. I'm separated from my wife. And you have an English girlfriend. Why bother asking if you already know? Quite the Lothario, aren't we? It's expected of spies. <laughs> You think you're very clever, don't you? Take your hands off me. Tell me your girlfriend's name. There is no girlfriend. Tell me. I swear, no girlfriend. If I find out you've lied to I'm me... I'm telling you the truth. Remember, I'm watching you. Now get out of my sight. Oh. <sighs> Damn him! Earth has not anything to show more fair dull woody bee of soul who could pass by a, a sight so touching in its majesty this city now doth like, like a, a garment, garment wear, wear the, the beauty, beauty of, of the, the morning, morning. <laughs> <laughs> i thought you were at the coast all salam Auntie jean's fine how do you know that poem same as you our school cert remember because you must be relieved about your aunt yeah i am funny we end up working opposite it Opposite what? Westminster Bridge, idiot. The poem composed upon Westminster Bridge. Oh, yeah. Not a patch on ours. Maybe someone will write about our bridge one day. What uh, brings you here so early? What did you say? Why are you here? No, about the bridge. Someone will write about our bridge? No, that isn't exactly what you said. What are you on about? Tell me exactly what you said. I can't remember, Kathleen. I wish you hadn't said it. Said what? I think you should go back to bed and get some rest. Maybe you should see a doctor. You know, you haven't been yourself recently. Anyway, why are you here so early? I could ask the same of you. I needed some peace. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for it all. You'll have to tell me the rest. The rest of what? The code. I'm sorry, but it's over. I know he's told you. Now you'll have to tell me. I don't know what's your... Tell me! <laughs> Mr Jackson, what's wrong? What are you doing here at this Elsie, time? Elsie, I came to warn... to warn you. Go away! Go, now! Here! Get off! You're hurting me! Get off me! You must get away at once! Let her oh. go! He'll be here any minute! Who'll be here? The inspector! Let's all calm down, no. shall we? Calm down! I didn't mean to hurt you. I could never hurt you, Elsie. What does the inspector want? You! Why? I don't know. What do you know? That he'll be here any minute. How do you know that? I just know. Look, I've been watching you. He told me to. You what? Listening to you talking. What you say about the kiddie's father. That's disgusting. How could you? I care about you. And anyway, he, he forced me to. I, I had to. Forced is an accurate description. You were quite happy until you realised there was no money in it. No, look here, I was not happy. Your I... happiness is of no interest. Sergeant, escort Mr Jackson to the station. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, Elsie. Come along, I sir. tried to help You're you. You're not arresting him. No. Now stop worrying about him and start worrying about yourself. I don't know what you want or what you think I've done. One question. Who is the father of your child? I won't tell you, Inspector. Well, I thought you already knew. Perhaps your friend here can help me. Kathleen? Well, she doesn't know anything. She's been helpful in the past. Is this necessary? 
I'll do whatever it takes. You, you two know each other? We've met. No. Kathleen, you haven't been spying on me don't as well. Don't listen to him, Elsie. He's lying. I, I don't understand. Why all this fuss about me? It's not about you. <gasps> don't move. Put the gun away, Kathleen. Please, Kathleen. The baby, please, please don't hurt my baby. Look, I'd do anything. Tell me the rest of the code. But I don't know it. Please. Is it in the poem? Please, if I knew anything, I'd, I'd tell you. Put the gun away, Kathleen. It isn't helping you. Keep away, Inspector, and you. Do as she says, Constable. <gasps> oh, Please stop, please. You'll be all right, Elsie. How did you know the code? Well, I don't know any code. Elsie, you have got one minute to tell me or oh. I will shoot you, believe me. Please, I don't know. Who told you the code? 50 seconds. Elsie, if you know anything, tell her. Please, believe me, I don't know. My boyfriend asked me to meet him at the bridge at dawn. He said it was important that we meet here. What's his name? Oh, please, put the gun away. What's his name? Gerhard. Gerhard who? He's one of the Dutch engineers working on Waterloo Bridge. You don't even know his surname. He's German and you're lying. You wouldn't go with an ugly bitch like you. Kathleen, please. Why are you doing this? Kathleen, please, you stupid bitch. Do you think I care about you? For the pleasure of seeing your stinking stupid face, I'll tell you how it really was. Leave her alone! Get out! Get out! You're staying here. Find a police box. Call an ambulance. Yes, sir. Hurry, man! It's all right. You'll be all right. Just hold on to me. You'll be fine. Congratulations, miss. Shall I put these in some water? It's all right, Inspector. One of the nurses will do it when you're gone. Of course. How are you feeling? I expect you must be tired. I'm sure this isn't a social visit, so get on with it. Very well. I expect you have a number of questions. I can only answer some of them, and I must insist on your confidentiality. Agreed? Yes. I take it you haven't heard from Gerhard Schweier? No. A man fitting his description was seen last night at the Garden Hall. Do you feel up to this, miss? I could always come... I'd rather get it over with. You've a right to know, but if you'd rather not... I want to hear it. Very well. <laughs> Kathleen James's body was fished out of the river beyond Deptford yesterday morning. She'd been working for Germany since 1934. The uh, 
photograph I showed you was of Kathleen and Gerhard in Berlin. On their wedding night, five years ago, quite a party oh, spare from... me the detail. <clears throat> Gerhard was a German agent. He'd recruited Kathleen and we thought he was trying to recruit you. He wasn't. Well, I realise that now. And I'm sorry. It's a bit late for sorry. I had a job to do. The Germans suspected he was working for us. We thought he was working for them, passing on false information and, in some way, using you to help him. Me? A spy? That's a joke. There are matters of national security at stake. What matters? That's confidential. Is it to do with the bridge? What Kathleen was screaming about? I can't discuss it. Frankly, miss, the less you know about it, the better. Well, what about Kathleen's part in all this? She's dead. There can't be any harm in telling me about her. Perhaps not. Gerhard left her 18 months ago. She volunteered to follow him to Britain and track him, find out if he'd been turned by us. She wanted revenge, not just for Hitler. She still loved Gerhard. Do you expect me to sympathise? No. I think she would have killed you. Did you never suspect him? Never. But you knew so little about him. I knew he loved me. And our child. Then why all the secrecy? He told me from the start he was married. And that we should keep quiet about us until he could get a divorce. And you knew he was German? Well, that was the other reason to keep quiet. You were taking a terrible risk. Perhaps. The, the truth is, I didn't want to know any more. We talked about the future, our future. And perhaps we were both escaping, dreaming. But all I can say is I, I never knew what it was to be happy, and now I do. I do, and I'm fairly certain I will again. After all this is over. What? With him? Who can say? I better go. Good luck. I'm glad the baby's all right, even if it arrived sooner than expected. Have you thought of a name? Kathleen. Goodbye, miss. Goodbye, Inspector. Nurse? Nurse? Yes, Miss Howarth? What time are they coming? At four. I'm sure she'll be very happy with them. Yes. Are you having second thoughts? No. Could I make a telephone call? Of course. Telephone's in Sister's office. Operator? Whitehall, 375. Yes, I'll hold. In Fresh from the Coast, Elsie was played by Joe Joyner, Kathleen by Christine Brennan, The Police Inspector by Mark Chatterton, Mr Jackson by Martin Reeve, and Gerhardt by...